Now see, we understood the foreign exchange markets. Let's see what are the functions of this market. See the functions they have is a transfer function wherein it facilitates transfer of purchasing power across different countries of the world. So you can have that purchasing power wherein you can transfer the currencies across the world. You can because of that you can trade. Why? Because let's say I want to buy coffee from Brazil. Okay. So because there is a foreign exchange market so I can buy the Brazilian currency okay and then go ahead and buy do the trade with the Brazilian counterpart. Now credit function it facilitates credit for international trade. So because of the foreign exchange market the countries among themselves can provide credit facilities to other countries or maybe one MNC can give loan to another counterpart okay. Hedging function I explained you already in the previous slide. It facilitates pro protection against the risk of foreign exchange fluctuation. So when two companies are entering into a trade, they can protect themselves through foreign exchange market so that they receive what they have perceived. Like I gave you an example, if I'm perceiving that $2 would be received, I would receive that much amount only because of the hedging function which the foreign exchange market can perform.